What's up, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. Do not be misled by the Pokemon background. This is actually going to be a Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, video. I have imported some Yu-Gi-Oh! cards from Japan, mostly OCG, maybe some English, but I don't really remember, to be honest. In the background, I just have some V Memories boxes. Uh, my wife and I accidentally pre-ordered too many of them. Not a bad problem to have. Um, interestingly enough, that one, well, that one back there in the left corner, you'll see that the Sylveon is shifted and the uh, coin also broke free. But anyway, back to the package opening itself. So I've got a very sizable box that I will have to cut open off camera for obvious reasons. Um, I guess you can kind of see like my silhouette back here. Well, that was weird too. Um, anyway, if you look in the reflection in Charizard, you can see that I'm cutting the box and not like putting any like, fake stuff in there. Do people actually fake mail day videos? I don't know if that's even a thing, but anyway, um, just your average mail day opening. So I sometimes like to cut the boxes ahead of time, but I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out my groove. Like I've probably done more mail day videos than anything else on this channel, but I'm still trying to figure out exactly how I like to do them. And that's all right. I mean, um, I come from a profession where, like, being flexible is essential. And you always have to be able to make changes in order to adapt to what the situation is. Um, so, we've got a lot of the inflatable packaging supplies, which is great. Thank you for bearing with me for so long. And we also have a couple of, what are these, folders? Oh, Ooh, lime green envelopes. That's fun. Okay, cool. So it looks like each each card or each order was like sub-packaged into these little green envelopes, which I'll set off to the side. I'm um, not sure exactly. There should probably be about seven, if I remember correctly. Um, it'll be interesting to see if we got any freebies. I know Pokemon sellers in Japan often throw out freebies if, freebies if you order from them. So we'll see about Yu-Gi-Oh!, all right, there shouldn't be any revealing information, but if I do spaz out, just assume that I'm trying to keep my identity um, not public information. Uh, I don't think you'll believe me for that, but... So, I don't know. I've Ooh, oh, this is a good one to start on. Jeez. Okay, so I've thought a lot about, like, my personality on the internet, and I'll be honest with you, like, I'm not really the most boisterous person in real life, and I don't think that I am on the internet either, but I've been thinking a lot, and, like, um, I enjoy listening to people who their content is sort of like having a conversation with a friend, and that's sort of what I like to strive for, um, whether or not I hit the mark all the time, up for, up for grabs, or up for questions, I guess. But that's sort of like, I think that that's the, that's kind of the aura that I'm shooting for here. Um, I know like, like there are some content creators that are just super good at being really excited all the time. And that's great. I, I love that. And then there's others that are a little bit less excited all the time. Oh, okay. So these are some cards that I ordered, I believe together. So, or maybe... Honestly, I don't know how the heck I ended up with this many blue eyes. I thought I only ordered two total, but um, anyway, so we have like some old starter deck blue eyes white dragons. This one's literally folded in half, which kind of sucks, but maybe I'll just throw this in my LOB binder. Um, I mean, it never hurts to look at some blue eyes. We've got another one that's in better condition. Not perfect. I mean, these are like played cards, but... Yeah, it looks like we've got some serious wear there. But I, anyway, I picked these blue eyes up for like $4 a piece, which for a vintage blue eyes is not bad at all. You'll notice that this is like, okay, so this is like the original release style. I'm still learning about OCG, but I think it's fascinating. So this card layout is much different from like, um, I don't know if I have, oh, I do have some like Korean cards laying around. But, like, you'll notice the layout's different, right? Like, we have these big text boxes, and then the actual description is very small, as opposed to this. So, the original initial release cards um, in Japan, they looked more like this. And so, you'll notice that this is basically, um, there's no set code down here either, which means that it was from what essentially became the English structure decks, um, 
they obviously used this artwork rather than the one that we used for our starter decks and vice versa. I believe that our starter deck artwork came out in the OCG's actual LOB variation set. But anyway, we've looked at this one for quite a while. This is definitely the best condition copy out of the three. So it will actually claim the middle spot, the alpha blue eyes. And I don't know if I ordered this Dark Magician or if they just sent it in for free, but again, that's pretty sweet either way. Um, I think I should have a Dark Magician coming, but this one may or may not be extra. But anyway, that was a really, that was a heater to start things off with. Three Blue Eyes and a Dark Magician. Um, and so that's sort of like, I went for two things throughout this video, and so you'll probably be able to pick up on what I did pretty quick. Oh, I'm a little bit really pissed about this. This is how it came in the freaking, ah, oh, God. Okay, so this is an ultimate rare Gemini elf. And I paid like 30 bucks for it before shipping and fees. You'll notice it's the uncensored artwork. Um, and it's not just their ears that are a different size. But this was literally just in a stinking penny sleeve. And so it is pretty beat up top coincidence i don't know so i won't be grading this copy which stinks because that was my plan i thought that i found a really good deal on an ultimate rare that i could grade and it would not get like a 10 obviously but i was hoping for like a seven or an eight this is looking more like a five um but beautiful card nonetheless that one i ordered for myself um because I think it's a neat opportunity. Like, I'm really interested in cards that the artwork has been censored from English. What on earth? Was it double-sleeved and they actually took it out of both sleeves? They freaking did. How annoying is that? Okay. You win some, you lose some. Let's move along. Um, our next green one. I'll start opening these on camera in case something like that happens again. I think I didn't open that last green one on camera. But obviously, I didn't have enough time to remove a card from its top loader. Whoa, no kidding. Hey, that's awesome. We I've never opened OCG before. That's really cool. So we have 20th anniversary rising rampage packs. That's sick. Two of them. Wow, that's great. That's a real mood booster. Looks like we have three of the um, English equivalent lost our um, Dark Magician Girl promos. If you want to close up on these. So... In terms of like, so these cards I consider to be like very popular high demand cards, even though this is like the lesser artwork for Dark Magician and that is like maybe the less desirable artwork for Blue Eyes, uh, that's up for debate. But like these Japanese exclusive cards, especially the ones with censored artworks are another one that I've gone for. Obviously, if you know anything about Pokemon, there's like a massive waifu craze. Um, and I think that there's a little bit of that in Yu-Gi-Oh, but not as much yet. So wouldn't that be a cool thumbnail shot? <laughs> I say that and I have like three blue eyes in the background, but anyway, um, so that's another pickup that I had, um, in English, these kind of cards are going for like, I don't even know, like 16 bucks, something like that. I think I've picked them up for, but in Japan, I have bought them for a cost average of like $6. So, and when you can, uh like consolidate shipping it makes things a little bit more manageable in terms of your general cost average so moving right along so basically like yeah there's going to be cards with uncensored art and then also cards that i think i'll be able to like just sell quickly or pass along fast like basically cards with like high volume of sale potential like blue eyes and dark magician um other iconic like dual monsters era cards so here, let's see what we've got. Ooh, I think I know what these are. Oh, not what I expected. Okay, so more uncensored artworks. I bought just a crap ton of these soul release cards. Um, again, like you'll notice, oh, I don't have my soul release out. Uh, anyway, in the English version, she's wearing like a white dress. In the OCG version, she is not. And I think I've bought, I think I have bought at least seven of these things. And my cost average is like maybe two or three dollars. Um, again, that the reason I bought those was explained previously, and I do not feel the need to explain again. So I can feel that this card is not in a freaking top loader, which is very annoying. I wonder if that's actually how these cards were sent, or if Baye took them out of top loaders. That would be kind of frustrating, to be completely honest with you. Um, 
looks like my blue eyes fell. We'll take a moment to pick them up. I'd say they're worth it. Oop. Okay. So this looks to be another soul release. I do know that there is two variations of this card. So from the same set, um, I believe that this is Metal Raiders. But anyway, this is the OCG version of Metal Raiders as you're staring at the back of this. Need to sharpen my cutting utensil. But anyway, in um, goodness gracious, I'll be amazed if I didn't just bend that card. That was not smooth. Um, what am I saying here? So in the OCG version of, is that a fake card? This better not be a fake card. Why does this look so much different than these ones? Okay. This is just all over. This might be a fake card. Um, it's definitely glossier and this one is not glossy. Check that out, my OCG friends. What do you think? And they're the same size. This one's obviously a much deeper green though. So that's interesting. Oh well, I'll check that out later, but I have no idea what I was talking about before I opened that package, so my apologies. I think it was something along the lines of like, I'll be upset if Baiyi is removing my cards from top loaders in order to package them in these green envelopes. Um, I'm gonna just take the seal off on this because I don't really know where the card is in the package. But yeah, I've been buying a lot of Soul Release. I think it's just cool censored art. But oh yeah, within the um, OCG version of Metal Raiders, there's both a common and a rare version of Soul Release. So, oh, a fourth Blue Eyes. Wow, did I? I may have gotten that bent in half one as an extra. I have no freaking idea how I ended up with four Blue Eyes. I don't think I bought four Blue Eyes. I legit don't think I bought four blue eyes. We'll just take this one out of the sleeve because, like, this may have been, like, the original sleeve this thing was kept in. <laughs> it's hilarious. Okay, so a fourth blue eyes, obvious corner wear. Up, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This one's been around the block a time or two. No bends, so that's good, but definitely a played copy. But, you know, we'll just let that join the gang of blue eyes. So we've got four of them. Again, I believe I paid very little for these cards <laughs> looking at the can i may have overpaid for this one actually i think that there's one that i bought as a single by itself that was a little bit more than i thought um i thought i was going to be getting getting a more mint version of that card so mm, not sure exactly what happened here but oh well it's cool i've got four blue eyes white dragons and i think that my cost average on them is very low Anyway, going into this last package, I think that any fans of the classic dual monsters will appreciate this last one. I do know what it is. The other ones I've kind of gone into blind. Um, yeah, so anyway, this, this whole lot of cards, I should say, I should probably give you some actual information on it. I've just been kind of rambling, so if you're still watching, you're a trooper, man. Like, thank you very much for checking out the video. Now I will shamelessly plug, you should like and subscribe this video because it would make me feel good about myself. Um, but yeah, so this order after shipping and everything was like a hundred. Ooh, I just may have cut that card. That sucks. Okay. God, I'm being pretty haphazard today. But um, yeah, it was like a little over a hundred something dollars with shipping and everything. Um, I did keep the Gemini Elf for myself, or I bought the Gemini Elf for myself, so... I don't consider that to be part of the cost, but all these other cards are for my quote unquote business. So, all right. Oh, and they're all in one sleeve, so that's good. Okay, so we've got the Summon Skull Ultra Rare from Metal Raiders. We've got Gaia the Fierce Knight from LOB, and we've got the Celtic Guardian, ooh. And that one's like pretty prismatic. I don't exactly know what this hollow foil is, but that's awesome. I thought this was just a normal ultra rare. So we've got some pretty high volume cards. Um, sort of just set these within camera view. So basically I went for cards that I think I can crank out pretty fast. Like Blue Eyes will sell in English. Um, Dark Magician will sell in English. And then I think that these um, censored artworks or uncensored artworks will also do pretty well. So 
that's pretty much what I'm going for right now in Yu-Gi-Oh. I think that some of this stuff I got a good deal on. Other things I may have overpaid for now that I see its condition. But I was really excited to get some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. And I'm glad that it finally showed up. So thank you all so much for watching. Um, I appreciate you. And feel free to join us next time.